Okay, group. We've been up all night with this project. I'm making a company decision and putting it back in the vault. It can't be that hard. We just need to find a way to make a charger that encompasses all the things that people need. It's got to be a way. <laughs> We've been through all this data. I'm telling you, there's no way this company can agree on this. There are just too many disadvantages. This chart shows the initial cost of an electric vehicle is rather high compared to the same type of gasoline-powered car. It only travels a short distance, then takes a long time to recharge. Look at this graph. If you adjust for inflation, the cost of gasoline has not rise that much since 1918. No, we don't want to stop the project. People will want electric cars to save the environment. Look at how the concentration of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere has been increasing over time. Our cars account for 51% of the carbon dioxide emissions for a typical household. Each gallon of gasoline you burn creates 20 pounds of carbon dioxide. Electric vehicles are considered zero emission vehicles, although emissions are produced from the electric power plant. Most categories of emissions are lower for electricity generated from power plants than from engines running on gasoline or diesel. Yes, this is a good idea. There are a lot of benefits of using an electric vehicle. Look at how our consumption is increasing. There is not an infinite supply of oil because over half of the oil we use today is imported and our dependence will increase as we use up domestic resources. Oil price manipulation by OPEC have cost our economy daily about $1.9 trillion from 2004 to 2008 and each major shock was followed by a recession. Did you know that the U.S. produces 11% of the world's petroleum and consumes 22%? As for household-based travel, short trips account for the vast majority of trips. Over half of all vehicle trips are between 1 and 10 miles, so an electric vehicle would be perfect. Okay, guys, I think it's a bad idea. It's going to fail. I don't care what you guys say. It's going to fail. Well, this is just stressing me out so much. Amy, do you want to go for a coffee break? Yes, yes. I will. No, I'm going to stay here. I won't. Yeah. Electric cars. Good idea. We'll see. Good luck. Thanks. See, this is wrong. charging their car right now? The station started at every McDonald's and Walmart. Companies loved them because customers had to spend a long time in their store. Now it only takes 10 minutes and there are parking stations everywhere. They even have battery replacement stations or wireless chargers. Look, there are iPad apps to find charging stations with the cheapest electricity. What are you doing on the floor? Come on, get up. What happened? Okay, we'll just scrap the charging station proposal. No, 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 it's a great idea. There are a lot of electric vehicles in the future. Are you sure about this? Yeah, trust me. Let's get to work. The electric vehicle chargers would need canopies, so when it is rainy, they would still be able to charge their cars. This needs to be done because the chargers are electric and will not go well with water. 
A possible safety hazard is a person getting electrocuted. We can reduce that risk by using the appropriate non-conductible materials. The wire to connect the charger and car together has to be long enough to reach the electric cars from the charging port. The charger will be circular with industry standard prongs. The hose locks and releases once your car is finished so someone else can use it. The LED screen will have the control buttons and electricity percentage button being used to charge the vehicle. There will also be a slot where the receipt comes out. Charging stations will need to be able to service many cars at the same time.